Oh no. Fuck. Game, start working, please. I guess this game does not like it when you tap out. Never mind. Welcome to Deadpool. Uh... Hold on a second. Nico, move from that spot! Sorry, my cat just would not move from a certain spot she wasn't supposed to be in. Anyway, I'm back. Um, by next week I'm hoping to have a VTuber model. I just didn't want to set one up yet. Genetically superior. All right. Um, I don't really care much for Deadpool if I'm gonna be honest. Uh, this punching a person next to you. Um, I played this a little bit when it first came out. Uh, on the PS3, it was eh. Then it came out again on the PS4. Um, and I own it on PC as well. So, uh, it's not that this game was bad either. It's just I think Deadpool's gimmick wears off a lot. Pull the trigger in stealth mode to whip it out. These hints are um, quite hinty. Guests of Deadpool stay at a motel. It's kind of sketch. Alright. Deadpool, it's Logan. Got your message. And for the last time, no. You cannot take our Blackbird out for a joyride. Stop calling about it! Hey Deadpool, it's Domino. So, I got another contract for you if you're interested. The coin is good, so just let me know. Oh, and uh, regarding that other thing you texted me about, I... I can't. I, I mean, it was just supposed to be that one time, and I... Anyway, just call me. Deadpool, it's Peter Della Pena from High Moon Studios. You know, the guy you kept calling dickhead when you cornered me in the parking lot the other night? Anyway, I looked over your proposal. Not gonna pretend I understand any of it, but the answer is no. We're gonna pass on your big game idea. What? He said no? That was our chance to be in our own video game. Maybe we shouldn't have written the proposal in crayon. Relax. You know he's gonna call back. Oh yeah, because of the- Deadpool! Hey, it's Peter. <laughs> you know, dickhead. <laughs> Remember when I, I called you earlier and told you no? <laughs> I'm such a joker. Cause I meant yes, of course! <laughs> the new proposal you sent over this yes, time went off with terrorism. a big bang in the office today. Genius, just genius. So, sum it up, congratulations. Let's make a video game. See? Once again, our explosive personality wins the day. High five! No high fives, we're voices in our head. I've got my top designers banging away on a script right now. As soon as it's ready, we'll send it right over. Script? Oh. 
Deadpool points? This is bullshit. A script? <laughs> like some dingus word writer is gonna know better than me how to show how amazing I am. Amazing is more Spider-Man's thing, really. Yeah, right. What's so amazing about that geek? Well, superhuman strength and reflexes, extrasensory perception, genius-level intellect, the ability to stick to any surface. You know what else sticks to any surface? A load of goo? Ooh, Spider-Man. But does Spider-Man have a sweet-ass supercharged healing factor? No, but me. Hold on. Some jackass gets lucky and tags me with a stray bullet. Whatever. Freaky cellular regeneration for the win, bitches. And another big difference is we kill the shit out of people. Damn right. We need a good titty movie. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. One of the shit Why are said... we watching TV with our full costume on? Because I get the feeling someone is watching us. Mm. Quality time watching TV with me, myself, and myself. Yeah, thanks for spending time with us. You know, time apart could really help this relationship. Just saying. There's a dog. Isn't this the best chair? It conforms to our ass quite nicely. It's Let's well see what used, else is said. Just like us. Ah, I think the batteries in this remote are dead. Then get up and get more. Ah, uh, but that's hard. So relatable. Ooh, ooh. Television. A wonderful invention. It rots our brain. But it has pretty colors. Needs violence. Sweet, sweet ladies. Explosions. More ladies with boobs. Then I'll watch. Boobs. Come on, they always blur out the good stuff. He seems like he's getting more lame. You're gonna get up yourself, I refuse. If it's called a boob tube, why can't I find any? Fun fact, it's called a boob tube because there is of the, literally uh, nothing on right now. The backside of the TVs. Probably. I don't Damn, know. That's I just me cable. making shit up. This sucks. This is what is known to game geeks as an idol animation. Yeah, I animated it too. So idolize me. <laughs> yeah, you also got your bulge hanging out there, buddy. Click. I pressed it. Hey, what's that? You guys tracking my every move now? But I haven't even accomplished anything in this game yet. And there's another one. Oh, oh yeah, because it's, oh, it's gonna be one there. of those uh -huh. games, huh? Uh huh. Nighty night, buddy. <laughs> oh, oh, we just had the greatest idea for a level in the game. Tits! Right. Let's see what's behind door number one. I'm starting to get the feeling that no love was put into my apartment. Holy gun boner! <laughs> now this is what it's all about. Look at all this fine weaponry. This is such a great, uh, game. You know why I love the internet? Because it's just like me. Vulgar, combative, and contradictory. Overflowing with perversion and stupidity? Yes, and yes. Ooh, new syspop videos. Hey, Brad! How do I update my status to be wrecked? <laughs> Another friend request from Ryan? Doesn't this guy ever get the hint? 
How do I update my status to board shitless? Ryan Reynolds. In this economy? <laughs> okay. No. How about I show you one of my Deadpool comics? <clears throat> it's dead. Don't make me do this, please. Oh, really? She always looks so surprised to see us. If this game had a shame meter, it'd be full right now. Very autistic. <clears throat> We're not gonna put our penis in that, are we? No, you have to. You made me blow it up. I ain't doing shit. What's up, buddy? We're making a game about me. We gotta have you do the VO, man. Now, you see, here's the thing. People tell me we sound alike. That sounds awesome, Deadpool. Listen, I had a different take on it. Maybe we just make you, you know, maybe it's an alternative type of Deadpool. You know, it's somebody who says, like, forget the boobs. Let's just go for pecs, you know? Pecs and biceps. Forget girls. Why don't you just contact my agent for the booking, and, and we'll see what we can do. Ah, <laughs> he's so in. Look, Deadpool, I, I got another call coming in, gotta take it. Uh, good luck with the game, though. Yeah, well, fuck you, Nolan. <laughs> so, I hate how's how the ball dog coming side. along? Red rocket, red rocket! <laughs> you just sit tight, and I won't have to shoot you. Wonder what's in here. So what kill germs is. Why would anybody want to see that? I sure as hell don't. Why do they think I wear a goddamn mask? Hope this game doesn't like Ooh, try to do the whole uh, tragedy yeah. behind the comedy thing. <laughs> there we go. Now we're talking. Much more realistic. Fine. You asked for this. Hundreds of Oh, you gotta love the ones that make you sweat. Poop. I poop. Wonder what's in here. What's this? Drink. Drink. Hi. Hi. Enough with the damn beer. Healing factor won't let me get drunk anyway. You don't know that what I'm playing. Oh yeah, I don't know what you're playing. What are you I'm playing? Not really hungry, I don't but... know. Right. Eat it. Mm. Huh. How do you eat through your fucking mask? Really didn't think. Anyway, what's up, Snotty? How you doing? I'm okay. Why did you just pretend you didn't know me? Because if I didn't, who would? And what if I ever pretended to not know someone? Mm, all right. <laughs> Bet you that thought there'd be look. some kind of payoff with the empty cupboards. Nope. That pizza looked pretty good, admittedly. It did, but imagine how long it's been sitting on this, uh, table. I love the smell of pipe. Well, I mean, to be fair, the healing factor probably just... Okay, actually, another Smells thing like... about it, getting poisoned when you have a healing factor is probably hell on earth. Because, like, you, it's not enough to kill you, but it's enough to make it hurt a lot. You know what else hurts a lot? Let me show you. I don't know if what, I've getting seen this game, but, uh... What can... What getting an what having inflammation due to a toothache? Trust me, I would know. <laughs> Last time you bit her on the ear and she farted and flew out the window. Kitty! Hi! This kitty. Oh, in your real life. Hi! Lucky. How are you? Alright, let's continue this fucking game. 
My aunt uh, doesn't call her Oreo. I think she actually nicknamed her girlfriend. Why? Underwear? I don't know. Are you trying to say underwear? Although most of the time I just hear her calling her pussy. Delivery for Mr. Deadpool. Need your autograph, right? No autographs today. Look, she's an older, she's an older woman. She uses so like more uh, plastic terminology. You watch any old show from back in the day, and you just hear people calling the cats pussy cats or pussy You know, at first I wasn't feeling it, but I. All right, already. I thought she keeps slamming the door. Package for Mr. Deadpool. No. Okay, this is nice and all, but if you get any inkling to want to go kill stuff, ah, that must be the X Men delivering my dry cleaning. A Marvel reference. Hello, sir. I have a package. So do I. Yoink. <laughs> package. Shit. As I suspected. Words Snotty. Everywhere. Mm -hmm. We should I also read like some pussy of them. cats. Fine. Scene one. Mm -hmm. Dark and stormy night. Deadpool is <sighs> kill media mogul chance. Oh, do you, who is how blah, do you blah, feel blah, about that? Blah blah. Don't need that. Uh, I'm not much of a comic book superhero reader, uh, but I do think he's a quirky little guy with a nice appearance. Behold! Hmm. Not sure the player understands our thinking yet. Hey, player, just go with it. We're about to I've seen people ship him with Spider-Man. Bring the noise! Yeah, when I first saw Deadpool, I thought the same thing. Why is there another Spider-Man? Oh damn, Spider-Man didn't invent, um, white eyeballs. God. You're right, that was Batman. No, it was Herobrine. Snotty. I'm disappointed what? in you because I understand that reference. What's- Hey, Herobrine is a- is an OG. Is he? Didn't you watch any old Minecraft music yes. video? It always- Okay, I'm sorry. I hate to admit, yes! Okay, jokes aside, though, I love how almost every Minecraft music video back in the day had the same kind of format. Oh, uh, creepers oh, cool. are always uh, public enemy uh, number one. They're always, like, hunting white? diamonds are always, like, the most important the item. Uh, they have a fist fight with Herobrine in some way, shape, or form. And, uh, it was always a parody of an already existing hey, song. Uh, player, read that shit. Do whatever High Moon says. <laughs> Sweet! Jump button! You know... I mean, that was mostly because that's everything a child thought was cool about Minecraft. Heavy attack. Got it. I command goons to I... spawn so we can test our mad skill. When, um... Back in the day... Mix our light and heavy attacks together and see what happens. I am. Um... Yeah. can't hurt us while we are teleporting. Can't hit what isn't there, baby. I feel like we you know need to bring better, back movie tie-in games. You know, those types of games that, uh, just are either weirdly confusing and telling of the actual film itself, or just sloppily put scenes from the movie in between Where's gameplay the segments. The icon above the head? Honestly. Uh, there's I... this old... There's this like old jank happy feet okay, game, which uh, was prob on. is probably not very good, so but also the graphics what during like uh, under under like the snowboarding segments, uh, they're weirdly good. Like they have this sense of scale to them, where you're just a tiny little penguin in this big ass place. Kitty. 
Kitty! Kitty! Come here! Can you hear her? No. Sadly. I think... What was the last movie tying game that came out? Ooh. Sometimes it's the setup work that'll get you all tuckered out. Cause that's my question then. Bounce house. Check. What's Boing. Banana. Boing. Wahoo. Boing. 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 <laughs> Wahoo. Boing. Boing. What the fuck am I supposed to be doing? Hey, Stop it over you! So go nuts. You say that, but I think I take fall damage. Hold on, let me look at something. The oh last no. Movie tie-in game made. Latest movie tie-in she, fre she freaked uh, out and it she freaked out and I dropped my phone. Why is it the day I come back to my old home I got way more clumsier with this damn thing? I've never cracked my phone this much before. Ah! I'm so Abe? sorry. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I'm looking at tying games. Oh, no, sorry. I was just worried that the audio was fucked up on my phone now, because I was so irresponsible. It happens to the best of us, buddy. By the way, should we go? Ooh! An unsuspecting bad guy! Let's stealth kill him! What the fuck does stealth look in this game? I can't even be mad at her. It's my fault for holding my phone like an actual curmudgeon. Like an in actual game, what? You get points for killing oh, bats. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, and you spend those points to get cool upgrades to make us more badass. That is impossible. Yeah, but it's called progression in games. A must have. Hey player, open up the upgrade menu and see what we can buy. I don't wanna. Yeah, well too bad. Game can't make me do anything I don't wanna do. Can I make you do what I want you to do? Mm-hmm. <laughs> hoo Depends. Ah, shit! Look. Why do you feel like you've been dropping your phone a lot recently? I because think it's just... Childhood I think... and nostalgia? I think it's just the case where, uh, well... I don't really want to say too much on a live stream, but uh, basically, I think I've just gotten more on edge when I came down here. That's fair. It's all because so, when you were young, the Tooth Fairy came into your room and purposely if it snatched me, all your socks. I chain wall jumps together to get higher. And that kind of anxiety just kind of, you know. Jump. Awesome. Gets to you and I get Laws it. Beat, my, fam my family never told me oh, about the two fairy. The like, maybe they entertained the idea once, but generally they were just the type. Look, I'm gonna put this into perspective. A lot of detective, my mother was I the I type of person who said this Pokemon was the devil. Yeah, I figured. And that, five, and that 5G is the root of all evil. Like, ugh. I'm I sorry, that was still one of the dumbest ones because it's like. It, it literally was just a buzz. Yeah. That was literally a fucking buzzword because, like, not even I fully understand what the hell 5G is. You tell me 5G, and I think that's a gum product or something. Chew five gum, stimulate your senses. Put away the swords. I don't need five gum to just. I don't need five well, gum to decide to play this. Because this if is I the need... Deadpool Wolverine movie tie in game. Still want to play I didn't magic? even know. Yeah, I do want to play magic. I was waiting on you. Sorry, Jess came into the chat. I decided oh, to play this because you know Deadpool's really hot right now, and uh, yeah. Also, also, I found a bug in this game. Look, 
It's not a bug, That's it's a feature. It's a feature? It's not? Yeah. It's a feature, just like 5G in our heads will activate the COVID chips that will turn our, <laughs> our kids gay and our, um, our friends, you know, trans. By the way, this is a documentary as well. In case words like the word homophobic and all that other stuff happens because YouTube tends to not like my content after a while and then they're like, you said bad words. Well, guess what? This is a documentary now about why bad words like the word fag and fuck and all those other things are really horrible words. We're British. Uh, 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 my friend didn't mean to say that. Uh, he just is using the lingo from our homeland. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you like, friend, my mate. You like cigarettes. My mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, matey. I really hope that Jess didn't hear that. that was Jess terrible. didn't hear that. Wow, Snotty's <laughs> racist much! <laughs> this is the greatest feature. I hope the YouTube thumbnail is this. Me just playing with the ladder in a way I shouldn't be. Maybe you can edit the thumbnail to be that. I hope. It's time to go boom. Snotty. I love how Jess just like snotty's racist much. That's what happens when you I'm see sorry. I've never come to my I'm not one the shot. Only a little bit of shit in their pants right now, am I? I've shit my pants before. Okay, what was I thinking about again? Uh, oh yeah. Uh, Honestly, even when I was younger, I never truly understood, like... Okay, this is gonna make me sound like a real, like, preaching idiot. Like, I'm about to give a Darman speech, but... Yeah, I never truly a speech. I never really just truly understood homophobia and all the stuff that comes from it, because, like... It, it really is just, I don't understand it, so I don't like it. Like, last thing check, having an attraction towards the same gender doesn't mean you want to- doesn't mean you want to commit a doctor disrespect. Are you talking about- Are you saying when you like a different gender, you're not gonna become a pedophile? Yeah, sorry, I don't know what words to get your screen taken down. I'm well, sorry. see, here's the thing. We are talking about- this is like a documentary and you know an educational thing where we're gonna talk about why pedophilia is bad. So when we when we talk about why pedophilia is bad, YouTube and Twitch, um, we're not we're not endorsing pedophilia and we're not causing any sort of hate speech. We're teaching um, people. What's always frustrating is that it's always the people who secretly are doing creepy shit that claim that it's this other group of people doing creepy- Cause it's always the kids they like to bring up. Any hate group you can think of, any person with like hatred, they just always bring up the kids. Oh, uh, don't let your, uh, white children hang out with the black people or they're gonna eat them. Uh, don't let, uh, the trans people around your kids, they're gonna trans them. Don't let the gays around your kids, they're gonna gay them. Don't let the other people who aren't Christian around your kids, hmm. they're gonna unchristian them. It's funny you say that about the Christian one, because the the Christian one is like, you know, don't let- Or we could find oh, a way to shut game. down power to the um, building. So, force a system reset, I don't, power I'm trying to remember my thought, but the game's like speaking in my ears really loud. Uh, <laughs> hold on, let me turn the fucking audio down again. Jess, get in the call when you're ready. Jess is gonna be here with us and hear my mad ramblings. So, so here's the thing. Um, Calm down. Shoot the red box. Oh, that's one. Somebody get down there and shoot their clown. So, um, and speaking of Christianity. Um, no, that's, this isn't Devil May Cry, that button doesn't shoot gun. Uh. You want mustard with that? 
Oh shit, I'm about to die. Heal, 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 heal. It's just always obnoxious to me that they use children as a crutch to justify things because, like, of course people want to protect children. Children are the future. You know, unless it's. They're fucking mistakes. Damn. What about Nicoletta? She's your baby. She's a baby. But no, it's also hypocritical on these people, too, because these are the same sorts of people who don't even give a shit about children, only want to use them as a moral shield. Yeah. Because, like, you have some MFs who do acknowledge the fact that the world is on fire, literally, but then go, ah, well, it's not gonna happen for, like, a thousand years. So, basically, they're just inadvertently saying our children will deal with it. Because we'll yeah. die before it happens. Yeah, people are just really... Like, that's some real self-centered shit, but I get it. Because I, I feel the same way in some regards. But I also understand that I have no power to really change it as much as I want to change it. You know? I understand that. Really, I do. I just more so hate the sorts of people who pretty much just are like, Oh, well, uh... Who pretty much do acknowledge that it's happening, but think it's not a big deal because it's not going to happen to them. As if we shouldn't make a good enough future for other people or our children. It's just basically the people who are actually causing it, but then are like, oh, but it's not going to happen to us, though. Because, you know, people aren't stupid. Like, I can call certain people stupid, but they're not stupid. No, they just don't give a fuck. Like, these are the same types of people who will just, like, tr just throw iPads at their kids' faces, let them soak in a whole bunch of creepy nonsense online, and then when something bad happens to their kids, they want to blame X group for it, even though, like, I'm sorry, I don't care how creepy YouTube content is, at the end of the day, you should monitor what the fuck your kids are looking at online. That's how a kid like me saw a lot of things I shouldn't see. Like porn. Bitch. I- I saw, like... When I was a kid, I just watched a whole load of Warrior Cats animations, where the cats were just killing each other brutally. This was a book for children. It's what the British are just having books where animals die horribly. Why? What the fuck were warrior cats about? I don't even. I've already explained it to Jeff and Gaff, and they probably think I'm clinically insane. But uh, the basic gist of it it's about a group of cats that live in the woods or just that live in several parts of the wild where they just do things and live in clans and have a whole bunch of hyper specific rules. There's like uh, five, four main clans. There's a uh, Thunder Clan, they, they live in the woods. There's, there's a, wind there's a, there's, wait, hold on, hold on. You're telling me there's a clan of cats known as the Thunder Clan. So they're Thundercats. It, yes, yes they are. <laughs> Uh, we have Wind Clan who live in the plains and grasslands and stuff and big animals and shit. They're basically cat rabbits. Uh, we have a, a Shadow Clan that live in the swamps. It kind of sucks there. And Shrek then you rabbits. have River Clan. And then you have River Clan that's that like swim around and shit. They they live by rivers. That wasn't obvious. Uh, I mean, I thought they lived by lakes, but, you know, I I was wrong, I guess. They just basically live anywhere where there's water, effectively. Uh, they have, like, a, a hierarchy of sorts where it's like, uh, you have the kittens who are children, essentially. You have, uh, the, uh, you have the apprentices that are basically dumb teenagers that have to learn how to do cat stuff. 
You have the warriors who just do normal shit like hunting and whatever. You have the uh, you have the deputy who's just one guy who's basically around in case the leader dies. And then you have the leader who governs everything, and was given literal nine lives by the cat, by a bunch of dead cats in the sky, in order for him to not die. And I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Okay. Um. So my question then is, if they wanted to make him not die, why didn't they just make him, you know, immortal? And not just here's nine lives. Go crazy. Uh, I don't know. I guess balance or something. Why couldn't my sword break through that, but my gun could? Easy, because guns stronger than swords. I gotta get to the penthouse somehow. If I jump off, what happens in this game? You'll probably die. I don't know. Oh. Hey, try harder. I did die. Okay. I suppose one genuine reason why they wouldn't give a cat forever lives is that, uh... Sometimes the leaders in this series are just shit, like actual tyrants. But one specific guy basically became the cat equivalent of Hitler. And I'm not even joking. He became Kitler? Yes. Like, uh, how do I explain? He basically, uh, teamed up with the leader of River Clan because he- because she had the hots for him. Fucking simp. And then, uh... And then basically he decreed that, uh, there's- there should be no half-clan cats allowed because it's like a big taboo that you're then not allowed to make- why did he go and fuck kids. the other cat? Yeah, it's basically a big taboo that you're not allowed to t have children with somebody from a different clan because whatever. Cat racism. And so he uh, basically wanted to get all of the half clan cats uh, killed, and uh, the leader of River Clan was like, "Okay, yeah, you heard what he said. Uh, kill them. Kill these two apprentices, which are basically just teenage kittens." And he was like, what? No, I'm not gonna do that. And then, uh, she had somebody, she ordered somebody else to kill him, and he basically died horribly for the sake of his cause. And that's why everyone just hates that specific character, because she basically let her loyal deputy die because she was a simp. Okay, now let's read this. Shit. We read this shit as literal children. I'm like, block doing children. Here's a story about, uh, you know, ethnic cleansing kids, but with cats, so it's fine! Well, that wouldn't be the first animal book to have a Nazi fucking animal. Do animals also have one? No, that was communism. Oh, Keep up. Okay. Sorry. I got my my uh kid book allegories confused. Stop shooting I mean, me! I'm gay. Watership Down is technically a children's book and that uh, had a lot of like Nazi symbolism in it. Indiana Jones is a children's movie and it has a lot of Nazis in it. Don't remind me of Indi that one Indiana Jones film of it. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. That one scene where all the Nazis get burned, I don't find that scene scary. Like, maybe I would have found it scary when I was a child, but every time I see it, it just makes me giggle. Wait, which, 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 which Indiana Jones? One or three? Uh, which one is the one where the Nazis looked at the thingy and then got all their faces burned off? Uh, one. Oh, really? One? Well, the, the, in three, there was Nazis still, but... They didn't get their faces burned off. Oh. Um, huh. instead in one, I mean, in, in three, one of them drank a, uh, drank the, the, uh, you know Jesus' is chalice. Ow, oh, cunt. The Ugg. Wow, uh, it's not supposed to be scary. It's not supposed to be scary, the Ugg. Yeah, Jess is now saying stuff. That was, that was scarier. What, the Ugg or the guy turning old and turning to a skeleton? Oh. Uh. Stop beating me up! I'm trying to eat chat! 
the old dude. Yeah, that, 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 I, I do think that's also scarier. Cause like, he, he reaches for the woman's hand, and like, he holds her, and he's like, ah, and he starts to like, turn into a fucking, uh, skeleton. And it's so Damn. goofy to me. I don't remember what Indiana Jones movie, uh, I don't even know if it was an Indiana Jones movie, but I vividly remember being a child and like, there was a scene with like, with a scarab, like, it was some kind of insect that just ate a guy alive. That's it, that's mummy, you're thinking of mummy. That's mummy, that was some mummy. I think I remembered them being red ants actually. What? No, they were scarabs! There's a scene like that eating the dude from the inside out in the mummy with scarabs. Get off me! Oh, I have this move. I think it was the mummy. Was that the same movie where, like, the but mom is. Where the mom has, like, a fake out death and. I'm sorry, I don't really remember a movie where, like, the mom is believed to be dying and then the dad's telling his yes, son. Yes! Mummy! To take mummy his returns! Mom. Mummy returns! That's Mummy returns! Red Ants in Indy 4. Oh, there was a scene in Indy 4 with Red Ants, just the same. Uh, but, yeah, no, there, there's a scene in, in Mummy Returns, the mom's dying of a curse. Oh no, is it? Is the mom? I don't remember. Fucking... There's, there's a scene where, like, fucking this dude gets, like, eaten alive by scarabs from the inside. Yeah, and that must have been the one I saw, because, like... I think Wait, it's no, I'm Mummy I know, I'm getting mixed up because I didn't see the red ants when I was a kid, I saw the scarabs because I vividly yeah. remembered them scarabs. Yeah, yeah, it's That's the sun that has the curse, but the mom's about to die in the second one too. She she almost dies at the end, but yeah, the sun has the curse. And I remember those I fucking that, pygmy things. I think that movie and uh, Total Drama World Tour gave me an intense irrational fear of scarabs, even though I will realistically never have to deal with them in my entire life. Yeah. And I don't know if I'd say that now and somehow in 40 years from now I get killed by scarabs somehow. Snotty, you're given a chance to go to Egypt. Oh yeah, I'd love to go to Cairo. If I touch you, do you me? If I could... Alright, how many more enemies? Dude, stop shooting me, oh my god. Like, oh my god. Becky! Becky! Becky just got back. Can't? I don't know. I don't know. I Actually, going back to what earlier, I think I finally understood what it was that confused me. It's just the fact that, like, I just picture in my mind that these people just believe that the second you turn gay, you just start drooling over, you know, you just immediately turn into X team, which I just think is goofy because, like, last I checked, wanting to smooch another man doesn't immediately mean you want to smooch little Timmy. Yeah, that's that's I a think weird. I'm just no, 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 that's that's a, that's an actual rhetoric. It's it's stupid and it's ridiculous. And I mean, it, it, it refers more to towards like gay men than it does gay women. I think it's just frustrating for me because, like, a lot of it is, like, religious-based. And I don't even have anything against religion. I think I religion... I think religion is alright, in my opinion. I just don't like it when people just think that it's okay to force it onto everybody else. And, but, like... But, Sadi, what if your religion actually says it's okay to, to do things to children? Uh, do you then not have a problem with religion? That's what I was getting into, because, okay, like... Okay, okay. Yeah, 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 go on. Oh, that's okay. Um, what I was getting into is that even, like, when it comes to the Bible, they didn't say anything that they did- the, Originally, it didn't say that being gay was bad. The verse that keeps getting cited is that you mustn't lie with boy. Boy. A child. You know, that's fair. Uh, which, it, yeah, but it's also which, funny like, that a lot of priests are confirmed pedophiles, and the Catholic Church hides that fact and uh, pays a lot of money to make sure people don't think about their uh, their uh, you know 
their higher priests, you know, are not charged with, you know, grooming and shit. Yeah, it's quite nasty. Um, it is. I but it's, it. like, it's so funny to me that the verse that specifically stated that pedophilia is bad was changed to being gay is bad. I don't know, man. I think that one of those is more important than the other. Yeah, being gay. It is also to be noted that, like, the the Bible has been interpreted over a thousand times over hundreds yeah. of years. Uh, yeah. So in the original interpretation, a lot of people, like, before it was translated to English, the word tyranny was taken out, apparently. I need to run. And the reason why tyranny, the word tyranny was taken out was because, at the time, people were calling the king a tyrant. So, taking the word tyranny out made it so the king can further push Christianity as a way to keep people subservient underneath him. So, they, so what I'm effectively hearing is that the Bible is another case of a book being watered down. I can't believe the Bible is just like Lolita. Yeah. Which, by the way, I don't want to talk about Lolita too much because that book makes me uncomfortable, but it's just so amazing how two inter movie inter adaptations of a movie, of a book that said, Hey, this guy is preying on this little girl, turned it into a romance story. Are you high? Who the fuck turned into a romance? What? Oh, okay, so TLDR Lolita is a book about a dude who's yeah, yeah, like I praying. Yeah. I know. There were two movie adaptations, like two very famous ones, and they both turned it into a love story. Not a you shouldn't be trying to fuck children story. Like yeah. what what so what 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 what's the move like what's the movie's premise? Like this dude raises a kid and what okay, okay. I I know I know a bit of the book. But what's What's the fucking movie's premise? Um, I believe- I, I don't remember whether or not they turned the main girl into an adult or not, but either way, they basically just turned it into a forbidden love story as opposed to literally forbidden. Can this um, guy hit me when I'm up here? He can't. I mean, uh... They didn't program the enemies to jump in this game. I don't know if Lolita counts as, like, classic literature, but a lot of classic literature, unfortunately, gets, like, interpreted the wrong way to push a more uru-positive message. Like, for example, uh, Don Quixote was a movie that basically said, this guy is a delusional old man who thinks that everything is like the medieval fantasy books he read, and he ended up dying within that delusion. And then a lot of interpretations were like, Oh my god, Don Quixote was just following his dreams! The fuck? But keep in mind that Don Quixote in the book was cuckoo. Like, genuinely cuckoo. Only one way like, he believed a bunch of windmills were hill giants. That's... Fucking ridiculous. Yeah, he's 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 actually cuckoo, which partially makes me go as cool as that like cancelled oh, Yes! 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 Okay, sorry. <clears throat> no, it's fine, it's fine. As like cool as uh that Don Quixote movie that Disney were making could have been. A part of me is glad that they didn't make it, because I'm sure they probably would have gone with the whole uh, he was just a dreamer plotline. Not just some crazy motherfucker. And it's not even like you can't do a Don Quixote story with a happier ending without it diluting the point of the book. Because you could probably do it to where he learns that his of his delusions, but then decides to find his dreams in a different way. Yeah, that way is a prison or a psych ward. We're ready. Let's go. Yeah, butter ain't gonna fix that. Kill the man. Dead. 
dead. Dead. Alright. Dead, dead. Don't mind me, guys. Just here to steal your multi-million dollar military grade whirly bird. Get up there. Get up there. Do what I want you to do, game. Who dares summon the master of bliss? I want him. Get Shark One off the ground and rip him to pieces. Roger that, sir. Consider him handled. They found the helicopter's on switch. What? You can't hijack a chopper while it's flying around trying to turn you into shredded cheese? You doubt our skills? Yep. Ah! Snotty's dead. Babe? Yes. Hi. Is anyone else here? Uh, no, Jess. I, I hope Jess is coming. Be honest with me. Do you. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna ask something else. If my no, no, yapping. A ask everything. My ask yapping ever comes too much, then please tell me. I'll tell you. But it hasn't. I love you, yapping. Who's just as long as I'm not yapping about warrior cats, I don't like explaining warrior cats. I'd honestly rather explain what the fuck Cats the Musical is about than warrior cats. Oh shit. Heal, heal, heal. Well, see, here's the thing about warrior cats. Hello, Jess. Yeah, hello. Finally, you come. I've come into a conversation about warrior cats. Yep. No, I was saying Sonny, don't Sonny's make me. Sonny's favorite topic. No, I was asking you not to. Hi, Kitty. Hi. Hello. Okay, fully heal. Fully heal. When I kill this helicopter, uh, you want to play some magic? Yeah. What did you What did you use to download this uh, legitimate product? Well, there was this website I found, and um, it lets me get a key that I use to... Um, some people would use the word torrent, but I use the word yeah. download straight from Steam. Well, I was I was wondering if you could, could send me that Steam store link. Yeah, I can, I can. It's legit. I found a couple, but since you've got one that works, why risk a random, uh, a random Steam store link when I can use the legitimate Steam store yeah. link you've got? Yeah, yeah, you don't want to use sketchy Steam store links. You know what I mean? It's... I it's, absolutely do. Heal. Heal, please. Heal, for love of jeepers. I hate the way, like, YouTube commentary people make thumbnails or title their thumbnails. Because yeah. it is just so obnoxious. This, uh... Imagine if somebody made a commentary on me oh, where it's shit. like, the snotty situation is beyond disgusting. And then another video comes out where it's like, the snotty situation just got worse. I'm gonna do that actually now. I want to. You've inspired me, snotty. <laughs> Are you guys gonna accuse me of talking too much about weird cat books or something? I'm gonna start making why snotty no. loves fully roleplay. Absolutely not. Listen, my biggest crime right now is making cringe ass art on my several websites. No, no, it's, I'm way more tempted to abuse your rant, Snoddy, so you can uh, get you to talk about warrior cats for an hour and say yeah. nothing, and then upload it as content. Yeah, that's 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 why I have Snoddy here. Is I just I use her for for content. I don't like talking about warrior cats. It's just such a deranged fucking series. It's yeah, not but even that good. Yeah, but somehow you love it. And look, that's what's Gabe. Look, Gabe, the books aren't even that well fucking written. They have a cat who's literally orange, and somehow, even though he's the main character, describe him with fucking gray fur in the next fucking page. Because they don't proofread this shit. Well, that's why I draw comics. 
I don't need a proof. I just need to go look back at the previous page to see if I did it right. Well, at least you're better than me in that regard. I can't remember shit. Well, no, that's it. Like, if I haven't drawn the character 50 times, I have to keep looking at different angles and poses I made in other panels. Like, for example, in my comic, when I'm drawing Saris, which is like the hardest fucking little bastard to draw, they're so thin, and I have to remember their proportions are very uh, feminine. More so than. Ah, shit! Not again! Heal. Um, um, how much do they follow stuff that was gonna be true in my world but never ended up happening? Uh, Saris is, in my idea, true in your world. Um, the part that isn't true that I'd have to say is Ramoon being led by his god. Um, two Saris. But in my version of canonical events, I kind of want that to happen to make it more, I guess, ominous? You know? It's sure. Because in the latest page, where I mean, I mean, are they are they still gonna be out? Were they gonna be our wings dad still or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Iron Grand. Yeah, I'm still gonna. No, that. no, Cerise. Oh, oh Cerise. Oh, Cerise is an Iron Wing's dad. That's a different character altogether. That's Sunflower's uh, adopted founded father. Is gonna be Elwing. Yeah, 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 yeah. But in in, uh, I spoke about it ages ago with you. The that was, we thought that that was going to be... Ow, how are you still hitting me? Uh, that was going to be Elwing's real dad. Saris? Yeah, or uh, what do we call his teacher? Yeah, uh, Sunflower's mentor was going to be her yeah, real no, dad. Yeah, he still is, he is, but we haven't met Sunflower's mentor. What we have... Um, oh, that's not the way. same person, sorry. No, 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 no. Saris is Ramoon's mentor in his religion. Can I be honest about something? Yes. Whenever it comes to me designing characters, probably the hardest aspect for me is, like, well, aside from outfits, but even then, like, I think we can argue that fashion is something that a lot of people struggle with. But for me, personally, the hardest part is probably hairstyles. Just do what JoJo does. That you mean give everybody pompadours? Everyone does not have pompadours! <laughs> I'm sorry that you don't have a eye sense of art that isn't furry. I don't have my, my art is not furry, except you. Yeah, yeah? It's not furry? Show me one human character you've drawn in the past hour. I mean, I'm a little bit embarrassed about it, but it's fine. I'll show you. Sorry, that's just a selfie of your feet. What the? F I didn't even send anything yet. I'll prove it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna post it on uh, stream. No. Your, okay. Your look. Well, okay. I'm now. embarrassed. Said I I'm embarrassed about this, but here. Okay, one of these isn't human. Fun fact. I didn't make that character though, so screw you. You gotta buy me dinner first. This might be a good time to buy some upgrades. I'm not buying upgrades! I bought the shotguns, that's all I wanted. I'm not buying any gadgets. I'm gonna beat this game without buying anything else that I don't want. Hey Jess, I have a question for you. Say no. Sure. Damn it. How are you? Um... Uh, I've got a little bit of a headache, but it seems to be getting better. Oh, uh, sorry. It's because it's, it's too hot. Probably just got a bit dehydrated, but I've had a drink, I've had some painkillers, so I'm seeming better. Alright. I'm gonna quit here. I hope I hit a save point.
I know Wolverine's in this fucking game. Hold on, let's see if it saved who I wanted it to save. Yep, it did. Uh, I'll pick this game up another time. But, uh... Whee! This video is going to be called uh, Snotty's Weird Warrior Cats Rant XOXO. Woo woo. Ah! No! Okay, Snotty, Wah. what would you name this video? Uh... Deadpool gets food poisoning. Alright, Deadpool x Snotty XOXO. Woo woo. Hashtag Snotty's a fairy.